Now I've been chasing vibrations on this discovery for quite some time now. I've gone through the transfer box, the gear box, the clutch. I've also refit the caster arms with new standard bushes. I have fit steering arms, heavy duty steering arms, just to try and solve that death wobble. The panard rod has had new bushes in and a good coat of paint. And I've traced it down to the front prop shaft, which was um, out of alignment. It was actually not parallel with the drive line and the pinion angle. They weren't parallel, which makes the prop shaft vibrate. So to solve that, I've actually fit a Discovery 2 double card and prop shaft and the drive flange from a Discovery 2 transfer box. That has made the car drive 100% better. It is so much nicer to drive now but I've still got a hum and a bit of a vibration at 55-60 mile an hour. Now I've done a bit of research and checking out videos on YouTube under um, prop shaft velocity and all that kind of stuff um, they actually show a prop shaft at, at wrong angles which causes a, a noise which is a bit more like a, a rum 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 and that's caused by the prop shaft not actually running in a perfect circle it actually runs elliptical so you get it speeding up and slowing down as it's going round um, which I think is the cause of my my noise so like I say I fit the, the double card at the front and it has fixed that kind of problem but checking the back I've noticed that the rear prop shaft is also it's not not parallel now one of my subscribers Christopher from Arizona made me aware of some spaces that you can fit on the rear radius arms which actually push the axle backwards and hopefully as it's being pushed backwards it should pull the nose of the rear diff down and make the angles a lot better within the, the specifications to stop that droning noise. So I did a bit of research and I've been looking online and I found a company that's not actually that far away from me that make these. These are actually exhaust flanges but they are 12mm thick, the stainless steel and when you tie them into the bushes they actually fit perfect and the holes line up and everything. So today's task is to fit these and hopefully it will bring the angles of the prop shaft back into the right specification and it should solve that vibration. If it does, I owe you one Christopher. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. Now I'm not going to take the wheels off or jack it up or anything like that. All I'm going to do is just undo that radius arm drop it down, pop the spacer on and then pop the radius arm back up. It should be a pretty straightforward job. First though, I'm going to get under and I'm going to use my angle measuring tool that I have on, um, it's an app actually on my phone. I'm going to measure it before we do it and then measure it afterwards and we'll see what the difference is. Oh. <laughs> Let me just love it under here. Right. So I've got my angle tool, this actually tells me the angle, you might not be able to see it on here but all I'm going to do is put my phone on there and the angle is 7.7 .7 degrees. Here's what I found. Yeah, not, never mind Siri, bog off will you? Now we'll do the angle on here, not right now Siri, come on, Siri please go away. Okay. Thank you. Right, the angle on the actual brake disc face is three degrees. I think. I can't get it on a flat on a flat part. Got on there. Oh, Siri's going to start talking to me again now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, Siri. Right, what's that? Is that a flat part? Yeah, three degrees. And then on this drive flange, it's not entirely accurate. 
I'm afraid. If I can get it on that face there. 6.4 degrees. So we've got 7.8, was it? 3 degrees. So 3 to 7 to 6.4. Yeah, work that one out. <laughs> I think uh, it's getting a bit chilly, so I'm going to go and put a jacket on quickly. Oh, right, I think I was being a little bit ambitious with shorts and t-shirt. It's not that time of year yet. <laughs> right, so we're going to take the first three bolts out and the 30mm nut off the back. need to do is add this spacer to the, this, pop that on there, slot it back on, Bob's your uncle. Unless your uncle's a different name. Yeah, my uncle's called Dave, so Bob isn't my uncle. Right, so I'm just going to do the same on the other side and then I'm going to torque everything up, make sure everything's nice and tight and we'll take it for a spin. There we go, that's the brackets fit. Everything back on and torqued up. Now I'm just going to check the angles on the prop shaft and then we can take it for a spin and see what it's like. This should still be the same because we haven't changed this. Prop shaft is now 9 degrees, roughly 8.99 degrees. The rear diff is now. Three point two. Uh, no, three. Three degrees. Don't know what he's saying. So the transfer box is three degrees. The diff's three point three degrees. And the pop shaft's eight point nine. By the sounds of it. They're both the same angle, so it should be parallel. Now let's take it out for a spin. Turn everything off so there's no noises. Fingers crossed. Well the noise is still there, it's still vibrating at 55-60 mile an hour, 
It's more of a, a, a drone noise, like a rum, 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 rum. You might have been able to tell on the video by the vibration, um, the rattling noise that you could hear. You could only just slightly hear it on the video, but it is there. Um, the spaces have actually brought the prop shaft into the right alignment, alignment but um, the problem is still there, so it's back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. Yeah, so if anyone's got any suggestions, any ideas, things that they think it could be, drop me a uh, message in the comments, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.